Hello class, in this video, we're going to learn about simultaneous equations and solving it through the elimination method. The learning intention of this video is for us to quickly review over the advantages and disadvantages of solving simultaneous equations via the substitution method, and then we're going to learn how to use the elimination method to solve the simultaneous equation. So just a quick review, we can actually solve simultaneous equations using two methods. One of the method is referred to as the substitution method. For this method to work, what you do is you just essentially substitute one equation into the other equation. Now, in order to do this, we actually need to have at least one of the equations already solved, where you've got one letter by itself already. So therefore, you could actually use a substitution method for these examples over here, where you've got the letter Y um, already isolated. However, the substitution method doesn't really work as effectively when you've got both of the equations already in the standard form. And that's where we, were, we would actually use the elimination method over the substitution method. So now you should be able to identify when are you going to be using the substitution method over the elimination method and vice versa. So let's now learn how to solve simultaneous equations via the elimination method. The elimination method to solve simultaneous equations can only be used when both of the equations are expressed in the standard form and they are typically used when you're answering application questions in my opinion. So what I've got over here are two equations expressed in the standard form and remember that the standard form is represented in this particular structure. The reason why it's called the elimination method is because in the very first step of the process, you want to try to cancel out one of the variables or one of the letters by making it equal to zero. So I'll show you what I mean by this. In order for us to solve the simultaneous equations using the elimination method, we need to ensure that the coefficient, meaning the number in front of the letter, are the same for both of the equations, okay? So let's look at an example down below. So in this example up here, we can clearly see that the coefficients of x are the same for both equations. They've got the same value of 2. Don't worry about that one's positive, one's negative, as long as the value itself are the same, okay? So now that the coefficients are the same, what we can do is we can actually cancel or eliminate x by either choosing to add or subtract both the equations together. And you need to decide which one is best to do so. So in this example over here, um, in order to cancel out x, we're going to need to add both the equations because if you add both the equations, 2x plus negative 2x is actually equal to 0x. So they actually cancel each other out. And what we do after that is we just essentially add up all the other things, so collect the like terms. So therefore, 3y plus positive y is equal to 4y and 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. What we're going to do now is we're going to now solve the equation so therefore, to solve the equation, let's divide both sides by 4. So therefore, y is going to equal to 6. So now we've actually completed step 2. What we're going to do next is we're going to substitute our answer back into one of the original equations to solve the remaining letter. So in this case, let's find out what is x. So you have two options, um, but you want to choose generally the one that looks the easiest. To me, the one that looks the easiest is the one that contains the lower value generally. So I'm going to substitute it into the second equation. So by substituting into the second equation, what I'm essentially doing is I'm just replacing the letter y with 6 in this case. So if I do so, this is what the equation would now look like. And to solve for x, what I'll do is I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. 4 uh, minus 6 is going to equal to negative 2. And to get x by itself, let's divide both sides by negative 2. And therefore, we're going to get an answer of positive 1. Now that I've done step 3, we're just going to express our answer as a pair of coordinates. So x goes first followed by y. So therefore, our answer is going to be 1, 6. Let's go through another example, and this example is going to be different from the other one because you, now you've actually got different coefficients, and I want to show you how we can still solve it when the coefficients are different. Now, when the coefficients of x and y are not the same, we need to make them the same, and the way that we do that is let's first find out what is the lowest common multiple for the letter that you want to cancel, and then you want to multiply the equations to make the coefficients the same. So I'll show you what I mean by this. So I've just written um, the equations in this particular format because that's the format that we use when we're trying to use the elimination method. 
Now that you've set up your equations like this, let's decide whether we're going to cancel out x or y. In this particular example, let's just cancel y out. So to, in order for us to cancel y, we're going to need to first find out what is the lowest common multiple of y. So in this example, the lowest common multiple of 2y and 4y is going to equal to 4y. And once we've identified that, step 2 reads, let's multiply... Um, the equations, so either one of the equations or both the equations, so that the coefficients are the same for both in both. So in this case over here, notice that this second equation already has 4y, so we won't touch that at all. What we are going to do is we're going to actually multiply the first equation by 2. So we, that means we multiply everything by 2. So if you do this successfully, this is what the new equation will now look like. Now that I've done it like this, it's going to be the exact same steps as I've done in my very first example. Now that the coefficients are the same, let's um, either add or subtract. In this case over here, in order to cancel out the four y's, we're going to therefore subtract both of these equations together. So therefore, by subtracting it, um, 6x minus 5x is going to equal to just 1x, and 72 minus 64 is going to equal to 8. So therefore, I'm left with x equals to 8. So now I've done step 1. And I've done step two, essentially. What we're going to do now is we're going to substitute that answer back into one of the original equations. So in this question up here, I'm going to uh, substitute it back into the first equation. So therefore, if I do this, um, this is what my equation would now look like. 3 times 8 is going to equal to 24. And in order to solve for y, I'm going to subtract both sides by 24. Um, 36 minus 24 is equal to 12. Um, divide both sides by 2 to get y by itself. So therefore, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Finally, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to express our answer as a coordinate. So therefore, x goes first, then y. So our point of intersection is going to be 8, 6. Let's now look at one final example. So in this example over here, again, you've got a situation where the coefficients in front of x and y are not the same for both equations. So what we need to do is we need to make one of the coefficients for a particular letter the same. In this case over here, because I want to cancel out y, let's, make the, let's find out what is the lowest common multiple of y. The lowest common multiple of y in this case over here is going to be equal to 6y. So what we need to do is we need to therefore multiply both of these equations so that you've got 6y in both. Um, so therefore, what I'll do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3, because 2y multiplied by 3 is equal to 6y, and multiply the second equation by 2. So if I have done this, this is what the equations should now look like. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out y by subtracting both equations together. So therefore, if I subtract it, 9x minus 10x is equal to negative x, and 18 minus 22 is equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative sign in front of x, so therefore x is going to be equal to positive 4. After I've done this, what we'll do now is we'll substitute x equals to 4 into one of the equations. In this example, that looks like the most simplest equation, so I'll substitute it into that equation over there. So wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with the number 4. So therefore, if I do that, 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Let's solve for y by subtracting 12 for both sides of the equation. So 6 minus 12 is equal to negative 6. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, y is going to be equal to negative 3. And finally, we'll express our answer as a coordinate. So x goes first and y. So it's going to be read as 4 comma negative 3. So now what I would like you to do is I'd like you to please answer questions from exercise 1k. This is the end of the video. Hopefully this video has helped you. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.